I'm Rob Ford, Wintex Marketing and Communication Director, and I'm joined today by Carmine Azado. Carmine, thank you so much for sharing your community story with us. Hey, thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here today. So a long time ago, you were a pro wrestler. Tell me about your experience there. Yeah, I mean, that's that wasn't a plan for me, but I wanted to be an NFL football player. But through injuries in high school, losing a scholarship to college, um, you know, really put me on a on a bad track. The World Wrestling Federation came to my high school in New York and like Andre the Giant, the Killer Bees, Macho Man, all these guys were at my school and somebody was observing me, obviously, came up to me and said, hey, would you like to be a pro wrestler? We see how big you are. We see you talking with all these people. You have a good personality. We, we're observing you. The light bulb went on and I said, whoa. And I took the opportunity. I went to a wrestling school in Brooklyn under the tutelage of Johnny uh, Johnny Rods, the unpredictable. Nine months, I completed the training and 23 years in the wrestling industry, something I never planned for, traveling all over the world, wrestling guys like Kamala, and The Undertaker before he was The Undertaker, Mean Mark Callis, Stone Cold when he was stunning Steve. I mean, just things that blew my mind, being a nine time world champion, you know, I tell that to a lot of kids, don't let that world champion thing fool you. The only reason I was given that opportunity is because the promoter found me worthy of representing his organization. How are you presenting yourself every single day? People are watching you, you know? Share with me your conversion story. I got hurt in professional wrestling, uh, put me into a early retirement. You know, you don't want to show people that you're hurting and you're struggling for money. I just really started to worry and, and started to allow friends of mine to influence me to make some bad decisions. In the midst of it, um, I went to work for my friend in construction. Uh, the two workers that were at the job were you know, fellow Christians and they were just ministering to me every day for about 13 months, five days a week, 13 months straight. I didn't want any part of it, but all of a sudden, you know, my heart started getting chiseled a little bit. Uh, you know, that rough exterior started getting uh, knocked down, just uh, gave my life to the Lord. And since that day, I just never turned back to the old me. So now you've taken that message, um, you've made it your own, and you're taking it out and you're preaching it to people. So kind of describe for me what you're doing. I'm preaching relationship. That's really what it was, because to me, you know, we hear religion. Everybody always says, what religion are you? And, and Jesus wasn't religious. He was relational. And so for me to, to love and, and draw close to him, I had to understand that he was about the relationship with me. That um, unconditional, intense love makes me think like, wow, I don't have to be that old guy anymore. I don't have to do the old thing. I can do the new thing and the right thing. And so we have to see the gold in everyone. We have to see the value because somebody saw the value in me when I couldn't see it in myself. Carmine, thank you for sharing your community story with us. No, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. You have a great day.